Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video we are going to look into something that looks very simple but at the end of the day if you don't have the functionality it becomes a little bit complicated to customize your WordPress website and now this is called spacing and spacing includes sizing in terms of margins and paddings and let's dive straight in. Uh, the first thing is that before you have actually this add-on in some uh, sections of your website for example under the customizer at the moment and under the header section the primary header you see that i have the layout option uh, the width and then i have the bottom border size and the layout and i don't have anything to do with how i can enable spacing uh, for my header or the primary header and uh, when i have the other option uh, for the spacing, this is how it looks like. That means that I'll have the option to space my header. At the top, you can add up some spacing, like for example, you can even add like 100 uh, pixels for the padding, or you can even use percentages. You can even set specific sizing de depending on the device. For example, on the mobile, uh, which is the mobile device over here, I can set up like, I'm um, having like maybe five as EM at the top for the spacing for the primary header. So that means that if you don't have this option, then that means you are unable to make such stylings for your primary header. You see how that works like? Now let's get started. Now, first things first, for you to be in position to have this option to set up specific or custom margins and padding for a specific section of your Astra website, you should have something called the Astra Pro add-on. And the Astra Pro add-on comes with a number of other models like the uh, colors and background typography, spacing, blog pro, mobile header, and a lot more. And today we are particularly going to look into the spacing option. When you have it deactivated, it means that you won't have the feature appear right down here, just like it is appearing here in this section. Okay, now when you activate that option over here, then that means that uh, the spacing option will show up here in the primary header and even other sections as we're going to look into them in this tutorial now by reloading this page i want you to look down here have to go back to header primary header and boom you realize that now we have the option for the spacing now first things first i want us to look into something else now if we go back and we look into something like the primary menu you realize that we have another option right down here it's called spacing and right here we can space our menus based on how we want including the sub menu space for example when you come over here and then we start working for example the top spacing for our sub menu like we can add like 10 at the top we can even add like 10 at the bottom for our sub menu items okay now of course you don't have this feature in the free version of Astra so you should have the add-on itself and then if we want to make spacing on the uh, menu items themselves, at the moment I'm only working on a mobile version. Of course, you can also add or work on a specific version of your website. Now, in this case, when I come over here now, I'm going to add some spacing for our menu items. Let me say like 20 padding at the top. So now I've added top padding space at the top over here and below it is a little bit small. And then maybe I can also add padding at the bottom. And that's how I come to have that. Now you realize that this is a different spacing compared to the two section over right here. Now these are the sub menus, these are the main menus, but I don't want anything like that to that size. Now the same thing happens even when you're working on a totally different uh, device, for example, now still here under the tablet uh, option, when I come to header, primary header, I can still make heading space at the top and the bottom. If I put here like three, of course you see now it has increased and uh, the same here we say like three you can even add spacing to the left or the right we say like seven something like that all depends on what you really want to achieve um put here like one at like here one and goes on and on now when we go into like for example the blog pages like the archive pages you realize that still we have this option here for the spacing that is if you want to space up your blog posts uh, the post before the post after you can still use this option over here and uh, you style up your blog posts the way you want now if you want to of course uh, style up your sidebars uh, based on how you want your outside sidebar to appear or the size 
and the padding you all have to do that from this section over there so now when i come over here under the footer section and i come to the footer bar i can also make changes to my spacing options for the footer space over here on the desktop i can you know say maybe i want 20 at the top as my pixel size and bottom i make it like 20 or i can simply link up everything over here and i say i want 20 all over okay or i can simply change the measurement to em and that means that i will be uh, uh, having my measurements or my sizing and spacings in the em version or i can even use a percentage uh, option over here and i can just say maybe i want spacing to take 20 percent of the footer both top bottom left and everything but of course uh, this is basically to give you an idea on what you can achieve using these options and of course you can also uh, style up every other section or give spacing best on the device now here we are on the tablet device we can do the same thing even on the mobile device over there in a nutshell that's how you can add uh, spacing and uh, in terms of padding and margin to your wordpress website using the astra pro add-on for the astra theme so in case you have any questions about how you can style a specific section of your website please let me know down in the comment section below and in case you're into the channel please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss out on new other tutorials when i push them out thank you so much for watching see you in the next one